everybody, let's talk all things iron deficiency and a plant-based diet. The most common questions that we get is, why do we need iron? Which plant foods are high in iron? How much iron do we actually need? And how do we increase our iron absorption? And which foods aid in iron absorption? What does iron do in our body and what might it look like if we have a deficiency? Iron deficiency is one of the most common nutrient deficiencies in the world among both men and women and vegan and non-vegan populations. The highest concentration of iron is actually in our red blood cells where it helps to form the protein called haemoglobin so that our blood can then transport oxygen around our body. Without enough oxygen, we'll start to feel tired and lethargic. We can also experience things like brain fog, irritability, and we can get sick more often with minor colds and things like that, and we can even experience hair loss. Iron is also involved in DNA synthesis, so that's pretty important. And iron is actually one of the cofactors for creating energy at the very end of the metabolic cycle called electron transport chain. At the end of metabolism, iron plays a role in creating energy from our food in the form of a molecule called ATP. ATP is the body's energy. That's a bit geeky, I know, but it helps you to understand that without enough iron, we can actually start to feel very, very tired and irritable, and it can even interfere with things like weight maintenance, which makes perfect sense, right? Because if you can't metabolize your food properly, how are you going to function properly? Food is our energy. So how much iron do we need on a plant-based diet? Well, because our iron isn't pre-made by animals, we may need a little bit extra. But that's okay, because we can get plenty with a normal whole food diet. The trick is to absorb our iron. So if you're a male, you're going to need about eight milligrams a day, and that's also the same for a post-menopausal woman. If you're pre-menopausal and you're a female, you're aiming for about 18 milligrams a day. Now here's where it becomes a little bit tricky. If we are completely plant-based, in other words, we are vegan, we need to aim for double the RDI, and that's just in case we're not absorbing enough iron. So where does iron actually come from? Have you ever thought that maybe by eating meat, we're eating secondhand iron? I mean, I wanna know where the animals get their iron. Have you ever wondered? Okay, so there are two types of iron. There is heme iron, which comes from the protein we spoke about called hemoglobin, which is found in the blood. And there is non-heme iron, which comes from plants. Some plants are actually very high in iron, and it's possible to get more than enough iron from a plant-based diet. The key is absorption. If we ate animal sources of iron, we would be eating heme iron and it's easier to, to absorb. When we eat plant sources, we need to make sure that we're eating enough acidic foods with our iron rich plant foods. And that's because the acidity helps with iron absorption from plant foods. The easiest way to get acid is to have foods high in vitamin C or other acidic foods like chili or cooked tomatoes. And you can also do other things like cooking in a cast iron pan. So the highest sources of iron are beans, lentils, peas, barley, tahini, soy and soy products, nuts and seeds, seeds like pepitas, a really good source, dark green leafy vegetables like spinach, and things like oats and quinoa. How much of these foods do you actually need to eat in order to get enough iron? Well, I'm going to give you a little example about how eating just three of these foods is going to give you quite a lot of iron. You will be surprised. Let's look at first molasses. Molasses is a sweet syrup, which is actually very high in many vitamins and minerals. A tablespoon of molasses will give you three and a half milligrams of iron. Soy contains six and a half milligrams of iron per half cup. And then pepitas or pumpkin seeds will give you five milligrams of iron per quarter of a cup. So if you ate these three servings of food, that will give you around about 15 milligrams of iron. So you can see how it all adds up very quickly. And hopefully you can also see if you're not eating a whole food plant-based diet, and instead you're eating a junk food plant-based diet, it's probably not going to help too much with your iron intake. If you're eating plenty of iron-rich foods and assuming you are generally healthy and not on medications which inhibit absorption, 
Iron absorption should not be an issue. If you're concerned, you should go to the doctor, get your bloods done and get your iron levels checked and then go from there. And it's also best not to take iron tablets unless you first know where you stand in terms of if you actually need them. And that's because iron stores in our body and if you are taking excess iron, it can become dangerous. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and leave your questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.